All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. And today we have another concept knife on the channel. Love these little pouches their knives come in. This one comes by way of Peter from a therapeutic edge. I'll have his information in the description. Peter, thank you so much for sending this along. And today we have the Concept Cryo. And this is the D2 Micarta version of, of this knife. And just a cool looking knife, as you can see right off the bat. Got that recurve drop point blade, flipper, uh, and just a great shape. I mean, just really cool looking knife. Uh, another Kim Ning design. Uh, and Kim is just killing it over there with concepts. So uh, let's just get into this one. It's eight, a little over eight inches long, a little over three and a half inches on the blade length, 3.58. And then uh, the, the uh, weight on this guy is 4.14. So to me, a good uh, large size EDC uh, carry there. You got this really cool brown micarta, which is grippy, but not too grippy. I, I, I actually find it just about right for me. Uh, really, really good. Like I said, this drop point, uh, full flat ground satin blade is uh, three, a little over three and a half inches. Uh, really slicey looking profile. I like it a lot. Great knife. And again, really like the micarta. You can see this one's been passed around a little bit. Uh, from Peter and has some great uh, patina or wear there on that uh, Micarta. Just really cool. You have the inset liners there. Uh, no skeletonization, but really well done. I find the lockup to be be fine there. Again, I don't really do percentages and all that stuff. Does it lock up? Is it going to come back on me? Uh, yes, it locks up. No, it's not going anywhere. So there you go. Uh, as far as centering... Uh, I find it to be pretty close, but it may be off to the show side just slightly. But again, it's not rubbing. Uh, there's no issues. And again, sometimes that can just be from model to model. You have the concept logo here. And as we saw in the last one, uh, the model and uh, the steel. And then uh, right here, whoa, if I can get it to focus, that's great. Uh, anyway, you've got uh, the name of the knife there cannot read it so i'll trust that you can so uh there you go so it is a manual flipper and obviously a liner lock made in china d2 blade so let's get into some of the details here the action it's it's pretty good i wouldn't call it great um drop shut pretty good you have to wiggle it um definitely definitely smooth i wouldn't call it hitchy or any or kind of you know, any kind of grindy or anything like that. It's definitely very smooth. Um, there's a couple things here. Number one, uh, the detent could be a little, uh, a little more tight. Uh, it just, you can definitely fail this knife. Uh, I know it didn't sound like it failed there, but it definitely did. Uh, it's just a little light on the detent. Just wish it would be a little poppier. And if it was just a little bit tighter on that detent, it would just fly right out of there. But again, it works. You just got to mean what you say when you're pushing the uh, light switch here. So uh, on the uh, there's there's no jimping here, and I'm absolutely fine with that because it's got a nice little curve to it, and it grabs a hold of your finger. Uh, so that's definitely not the problem uh, with flipping it open. It's just a little light on the detent. So the second thing I would say is this pocket clip. It's a good pocket clip, and again, it's it's right hand tip up uh, only. And uh, the only issue is you got this little point right here. If that was just rounded off ever so slightly, I think it would be fine. But you can tell that's going to catch and probably poke your hand, your hand down there as you're waving your hand around. I uh, haven't had it happen yet, though, so maybe I'm just uh, looking too hard. Uh, the jimping on the thumb ramp is really good. I have no problem with that whatsoever. It's It might be a little bit thick there and maybe a little harsh, but... I don't have a problem with it. It's not causing hot spot on my thumb. And boy, am I really pushing right now. I think it's absolutely fine. It's just very aggressive. Um, the the grip, because of this, uh, this nice cut out here, the grip is really nice. And again, that handle is four and a half inches. So it's perfect for me. Just locked in. I am not going anywhere. You can get out here with your thumb or get out here with your forefinger. And it is just 
really, really nice. Good access, whoops, good access to the liner there. Plenty of room to get your finger in there and, and do that. So overall, again, for $56, this is a terrific uh, budget EDC knife. Really enjoy uh, carrying this guy. I thank, thank Peter again, if I can talk. Hey, Peter, I appreciate you sending this knife along for me to look at. Uh, it's just been very, very nice to carry this guy around. So thanks very much. Hey, guys, if you have any questions or comments, put them down in the comments. I'd love to, to talk with you and answer your questions. Uh, if you're not subscribed, hey, give me a look at some of the content and uh, would love to have a subscription from you if you think it warrants it. And uh, hey, thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel.